I kind of want to start it off by we're going to be showing this, but I want to I want you guys to think about the four principles of soil health. And so for some of you that might be pounded into your head already, but um, just to remind you, keeping it covered. So when we think about that, you know, um, keeping some kind of residue or, or crop out there, uh, not disturbing. Maybe one of the most important ones out there. So disturbance, whether that most of the time we're talking about tillage in that case, um, and diversity. And so um, Nick's a crop farmer, primarily corn and soybeans, but there's opportunities there for increasing diversity. So keep that in mind. And then um, the fourth principle is keeping something living out there. So, um, you know, the longer we can keep a living root in the ground, um, the better we're going to be. And so, before we uh, turn this thing on, I wanted Nick to kind of go through and uh, just speak a little bit about where these samples are taken and uh, the management, maybe a little bit of history. July, August, hopefully, you know, silage we're, we're harvesting in September. Corn's coming off probably in October. What do we got? Five months of growth right there. From a soil standpoint, we got, you know, the other seven months of the year, we have nothing growing out there living root-wise. Now, you may argue that not a lot's growing in January, but something that's still alive in the soil and keeping the biology going is important. So, um, I like to say, like, if we don't have anything out there living, we're basically starving our soils from a biological standpoint. Uh, diversity. Nick's a, a corn and bean, corn and bean, uh, crop farmer so um, later this after later after this we're going to be looking at some interseeding trials um, we saw some rye we saw some wheat we saw some attempts at clover um, when we're looking at different soil or uh, different plant structures different root structures getting those cover crops into your system is extremely important because we're adding that diversity every different plant we put in there is exuding different exudates into the soil different bio different biology that's going on in that soil. So that's really important when we got, um, when we're talking about diversity. Um, we talked about not disturbing it, not covering it. Um, I guess the other thing about disturbance I want to talk about is um, it's not just about the aggregation. We start talking more about um, the beneficial bacteria, the beneficial fungi that are in the soil. And when we talk about mycorrhiza fungi, um, that's what helps move nutrients between the plants and the soil. They're kind of the uh, uh, symbiotic, they play that symbiotic relationship where they're helping each other. The number one way to kill that fungi is through tillage. It's very easy to disturb that and to, to, to destroy it. So we gotta keep that in mind. 